Okay, class. We want to look at internal earth movements. We want to define internal earth movements. We look at their classifications and their origin. So, what are internal earth movements? These are crustal disturbances of endogenic origin. We call them crustal disturbances of endogenic origin because they originate from within the interior of the earth. Classifications of internal earth movements. There are two groups we are going to classify these internal earth movements. One is diastrophic earth movements. These are earth movements which are very slow and less destructive. And when they are occurring, they cannot be easily noticed. When they are happening, when they are taking place, you cannot easily notice them. And they are less destructive. They occur slowly. Examples folding, forging, and warping. Folding, folding, and warping are the best examples of internal earth movements under diastrophic movements. Then we have catastrophic earth movements. These are earth movements which are very quick and destructive. They are faster and they are very destructive and they can be noticed when they are taking place. For example, earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Then you can also ask yourself that what is the origin of these earth movements? Uh, they largely occur as a result of convection currents within the earth's crust. And these ones are definitely caused by tensional forces. These are forces which pull away from each other. They are also caused by compressional forces. These are opposite to tensional. Compressional forces push towards each other. Then these, these movements are also caused by forces of warping, down warping and up warping. Thank you.